Welcome to Rascal Apiary. My name is Mike and I'm a journeyman beekeeper in North Carolina. And today we're going to talk about removable frames. Removable frames typically come in three different sizes. You have your deep, your medium, and your shallow. Note, there are also top bars that come in an array of different lengths. Today, we're going to focus on the traditional Langstroth removable frame that we use here in North Carolina. A frame consists of two sides, a top bar and a bottom bar. Optionally, you can have different foundations for example, you can have a thin wax foundation, a plastic foundation, and drone comb. These foundations are meant to be a guide for the bees when they're drawing out their comb. You typically want them to build out in the direction that helps you as a beekeeper. Top bar is the longest piece of wood that extends far enough for the edges to rest on the frame rest for on the hive box. These bars come in many different forms. For example, you have your grooved, or you can have a wedge, or grooved with a thin piece of wood, much like a painter's stir stick. The sidebars come in a Y configuration, a and a straight configuration. The Y configuration is called a Hoffman self-spacing sidebars. Now, these sidebars, when butted up against each other, will leave one and three eighths space, inches space, or 35 millimeters between the frames, enough space for the bees to move around, but not enough for them to build bridge comb. The bottom bar typically comes in two different styles. There is a grooved and a split. The grooved is for foundation such as plastic or wax and it just fits right into the grooves and then you put your bottom on. The split is typically for thin wax foundation and you would slide that in with the bottom already attached and then you just nail that foundation in. Now, if you're going to go foundationless like we do, we typically will recommend taking Type Bond 3 and just fill in all your grooves. That way, hive beetles don't get into it. If you don't know what hive beetle is, check out our video, Six Hive Pests You Need to Know About. There'll be a link in the description. Foundation usually comes in a couple different forms, like we talked about, a thin sheet of beeswax which is embossed with hexagons. These serve as a guide for the bees. They will mimic the cell pattern and the size of the cell as well. So you can kind of pick and choose what size cells they're gonna pull out. When installing your wax foundation, keep in mind that the wax is given structural stability by the wires. There are wires here. And that is why you'll find Hoffman sidebars with holes in them. That's where you put your wire through and you string up your wax foundation. Plastic foundation can also be used. This is a more sturdy style of foundation. The black makes it easier for you to see eggs when the queen lays eggs. And this will ensure that your bees draw out the wax straight. The embossed hexagons can come in different sizes. Typically you'll see them in the worker comb style size or worker brood. This is drum comb. This will, it will be embossed with hexagons that are bigger and that will uh, encourage the queen to lay drones. Most beekeepers will use this as part of their integrative pest management. 
or they'll incorporate it into their honey soup or encourage the bees to store more honey while using less wax. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something on frames. If you need a tutorial on how to build frames, we do have a video on that and it's titled Building Beehive Frames. There'll be a link in the description as well. If you need to know more or have questions, hit us up in the comments. And thanks again. Have a good day.